Hey you guys, that's the train because we live near trains, lots of them. I just wanted to pop in here. I was sitting in my little grove of trees and uh, I just wanted to share an experience with you because I feel like a lot of my friends, you know, a lot of you guys can probably benefit from this experience. Um, and it also helps me because, you know, when you testify of something, that happened to you and you recognize the spirit that is with you when it happened uh, it helps to solidify your own belief structure it helps to solidify and give reference points to the fact that you are on the right path okay so my little niece hannah is so flipping adorable hey mitzi and she is she's six weeks old younger than Maisie would have been and so I remember last year this time they came to visit we had already planned this visit with them and you know Maisie had passed and it was six weeks later and I remember my sister saying if you don't want me to come I won't come like if that's gonna be too painful I was like no please please come please like I need to hold a baby and I need to cry like I just need to hold your baby <laughs> And there's nobody else you can really do that with except for your family, you know, like I couldn't just take someone's baby for a few days, you know, and so I remember, you know, last year when they came, I just held her and smelled her and just wondered how she would be and all that. And I remember feeling just this intense um, connection to her and this intense gratitude that I could hold her, but also this intense pain, like it was so, so painful to hold her knowing that you know my baby wasn't there and so uh it was it was both it was both great and terrible at the same time well fast forward you know they're here now and little hannah's walking and she's a year and well she's like 14 15 months she's just the cutest thing so you know of course when you're a mom of that age like you know you're running around constantly so I was like can I give her a bath can I get her dressed you know I just wanted to touch her and feel her and smell her and kiss her and love her and just ah, just eat her up right and so then I uh, so I did that I gave her a bath and I pinched her cute little booty and I was like oh my gosh I miss this and um, we what did we do oh so then I just got her little clothes on it was just so fun and I kept waiting for it to bite me. Like I kept waiting for the pain, you know? I was like, okay, that's a lot. And you know what? It might still hit me tomorrow. I don't know. But I'm just sharing this with you right now because I am in a peaceful spot with it. And so we went downstairs. We were doing our uh, devotional. We do our devotional every night and our, and our prayers with our family. So we had them down there. And just little Hannah was just running around and just flopping over like a fish she's just like super active and I just remember oh my gosh they just run up the stairs and down the stairs and up the stairs and down the stairs and over the dog and I mean just so much stuff it's so cute so Hannah's just like rolling around the girls and a part of me was like okay like this is what it would be like this is what it would be like to have Maisie here right now like this energy and then like I felt this very strong spiritual confirmation that my family right now is exactly what my family was supposed to be. And, and that like really strong, like Maisie was not meant to be that age. Like she was, that was never the plan for her to be that age and to have that. Like her plan was to, she's doing her plan, right? Like, cause I believe in life after death. I believe she's on a mission. I believe she's still, phys you know, spiritually here with me. Even though I wanted her so badly here, it's like when I saw that family dynamic last night, it was this very strong confirmation to me that your family is as it should be right now. Your family is what your family is supposed to be. Like it is what is. And so therefore it, that is what it is meant to be. Now granted, you know, there's changes you can make in yourself and others and not saying that you shouldn't like strive for goals and stuff. But what I'm saying is like in that moment, I felt this intense peace of just, wow. Like she, and I had several dreams that you guys, I might've told you about, but she came to me three different times in three different dreams and showed me different ways that she would have passed. And so from that, I remember thinking, wow, okay. I, like she kept trying to tell me, mom, like I, like I was not going to be here beyond a certain point and every single time I would see her it would be like it wasn't like she was older and past like she was there for that time and I believe that she was here as an extra gift like that she could have gone earlier 
Um, so anyways, I wanted to share that with you because I just felt this intense peace. Like, wow, sometimes we question our lives and we question the experience. But like in that moment, I felt like, wow, there, this is what my family is supposed to look like because where I sometimes get into, into deep suffering is wishing it were different, wishing it didn't happen, wishing, 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 and wanting it different and changed. And like, and it was so beautiful because I didn't have that angst. I didn't have that fear. I didn't have that worry, that doubt. And so just in your life, take it for what it's worth. Obviously our experiences are different. Obviously you might be going through something that is hell on earth. And if you are, you know, my heart's with you and I'm sorry for your pain. And I'm also giving you that permission to know that whatever hell on earth you're going through right now, it is to create a bigger purpose and vision in you. And that there's, I can't imagine my, the last year being any different than what it was. Like I, I kept trying to imagine it different. And I thought, no, like this was our plan. Like this was what was transpiring for our good. And even saying that like gets me here. But at the same time, I know like that's why I just, I cannot even see that, you know? And sometimes when my kids have, like my kids having birthdays this year, a summer's birthday was really hard for me because she turned five and summer looks the most like Maisie, just her facial features when she was a baby, like very similar. So I thought, oh my gosh, she would look like this. And that, you know, that was, those are painful moments, but I guess why I wanted to share this was to number one, testify of my own experience because sometimes we don't and we keep them locked up and we don't remember them. And you know, it's very important to record. So I go home and I journal this. I'm doing a video of it. Remember, remember, remember. How many times in the scriptures do we hear that, you guys? Like how many times is like, remember? We don't remember. We suck at remembering. That's why you write it down or you record it. Um, oh my gosh, I have like stuff. I'm sitting in the, <laughs> sitting in the grass. So that's what's so beautiful, you guys, is if your life is worth living, it's worth recording. And so if you take nothing from today, you know, like, well, you don't have to take anything from this. Honestly, I'm just sharing. Do what you want to do. <laughs> so it's so quiet here because it's like rainy. So no one's out here. But yeah, I just wanted to share that, you know, that very peaceful feeling that I've, I've met a lot of women who have lost children and the angst that comes with that, it's unreal. Like it really is just an unreal experience of pain, like nothing you can describe it. And yet through the atonement of Christ, that is how I have found peace. And that is the only way it comes, you guys. And if you don't know what that means and you're like, what does she even, what is she talking about? Thank you for the hearts. Ask, you know, go to your own secret place. Go sit in your closet. Go pour your heart out to God, to the universe, whatever the God is of your understanding. And ask, how can the atonement of Christ heal my pain? and sit there and listen and pray for that. Please, you know, God, like help the atonement work in my life to heal this pain because it can. And, and still goes in waves. It's not gonna take it away. We didn't come here to experience butterflies and rainbows all the time, even though that's a great experience. We came here to experience contrast. You don't experience contrast when there's nothing to contrast. You're not happy when there's nothing that's sad. You don't get both. And we didn't come here to experience just the one we wanted the full gamut of emotion and so I feel like sometimes the things that we're gonna take with us are are the experiences the really painful ones and be like oh my gosh I experienced this like I wanted to die no <laughs> you know like I say that playfully but if you are going through that right now just know like that experience will strengthen you it will strengthen you in a way that you will not believe like there's not much that happens now where I'm like shaken. You know what I'm saying? Like granted, I still get ticked off at my kids for not doing chores. Ah, uh, that's still a thing. But I'm learning ways and um, we practice a lot more forgiveness. We practice a lot more grace. We practice a lot more ways that we can just connect to each other. And like <laughs> this morning, oh my gosh, my poor sister. So, <laughs> I was like trying to be all domestic. I'm so not a domestic, like homemade bread and stuff. It's just not my jam. It's okay. 
But I was like, oh, I'm gonna make some sausage and I'm gonna make some uh, birdie in the nest, which is like where you cut the hole in the bread and then you pour, put the egg in there and let it cook. I made gingerbread ones, like they're so cute. So I burned the crap out of these sausages. And so they're trying to sleep, right? the fire the smoke alarm's going off and I'm like oh my gosh so we're opening up all the windows and then my husband like sets the alarm off for our our, our our system I'm like they are gonna hate staying with us but whatever you know it's fun right um and and yes Aubrey don't rush that or force it. and I'm not like that's the thing like when I feel it I allow myself the opportunity to feel all of it because that's what I think that happens is we ru we want to like get the pain away, get the pain away, just move it away, process it, process it, process it, process it, right? And we don't take the time to sit in that feeling as long as is needful and then move through. Because there is a process of experiencing all of it and then you'll know when it's time in that day or that moment to move on from it and when you're when you're not and when you're purposefully staying stuck in that emotion so it's important to be really aware of your emotions so that you can know well when is it time to move on from that thought and one of the things that I've done is I've written down everything oh yeah okay Aubrey I got you process yeah it takes a, it takes a ton of time and I'm not done <laughs> by no means am I done processing this by far I'm just saying moments of peace moments of clarity that I want to record that I want to remember because it will help me it'll help you it'll help my kids I think my pants are on inside out anyway I love you I hope you're having a great day I hope you continue to have a great day and that you remember that you are a child of God and that you are so remembered you are so valuable and thought of and that doesn't change with your life circumstances that you are not more blessed or less blessed because bad crap happens in your life that is just that is the experience of life but you are still so 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 valued and wonderful and loved and um, it's all working out I'm getting like a ton of text right now so I gotta go Mwah. See you guys later.